We're excited to have students begin to returning to school for in-person learning very soon. And while things will look a little bit different, your teachers and I could not be any happier to begin welcoming some of our students back to school very soon. We wanted to give you an idea of what you can expect when you come to Springton Lake. Though things are going to look a little bit different, we are ready for a positive and successful school year. So this video is really designed to show you a little bit about what you can expect so that you can plan ahead and be ready to be safe and to be successful here at Springton Lake. When preparing to come to school, it's important for you to have all of your supplies and a fully charged Chromebook so that you're ready to go for the day. Don't forget your water bottle. Another important part that you need to take care of before you come to school is to have your parents complete the daily symptom screening. We need to be sure that everyone is feeling well before they come to school. Remember, if you don't feel well, you must stay home. If you're gonna be riding the bus to school, there's some special things to keep in mind to keep yourself safe on the bus. When waiting for the bus, be sure that you keep distance from you and the other people at your bus stop. Now, when you board the bus, we want you to load from the back forward. So that means when you get on the bus, you're going to walk all the way to the back of the bus and start filling in from the back. You should be seated no more than two students per seat. If you're riding the bus with a sibling, siblings should sit together on the bus. Students can be dropped off to school in the morning starting at 7.30 a.m., but no earlier than that. You'll need to be in your first period class by 7.55 a.m. Now, if you're driving to school in the morning, parents should expect some increased traffic, so patience is going to be needed. When you arrive to the school, you'll be getting out wherever your car stops along the sidewalk in the front of the building. When your car stops, get out. Don't wait to reach the canopy. When you enter the building in the morning, you need to have your mask on. Your mask should be covering your mouth and your nose. Maintain space between you and any other students that are walking into the building. Now you're going to go straight to class in the morning. You only use your locker if you need to. You may carry your backpack around during the day. Once you arrive to class, any time between 7.30 and 7.55 a.m. will be time that you can check hack, finish work, read, or study. Hand hygiene is going to be an important step to help in keeping everyone safe when they're here at school. We're going to ask you to use hand sanitizer whenever you walk in and out of the classroom. When you go to science class, this will be an opportunity for you to use the sink to actually wash your hands. And of course, whenever you go to the bathroom, you'll be sure to wash your hands when you're done. We also have hand sanitizer set up in the hallways at the water fountains. And also, when you go into the bathrooms, you always want to use hand sanitizer before you're touching any kind of surface. That will help to keep us all safe here at school. In the classroom, you'll notice that the desks are spaced six feet apart. That way there's plenty of distance between you and the other students in the class. Now in the classroom, you will be required to wear your mask at all times. However, teachers will provide an opportunity for short mask breaks throughout the day. When you're taking a mask break, you do need to be seated at your desk and you'll probably be working on something quietly and independently at that time. Whenever there's a need, however, to get up and to move around, you'll need to be sure that you have your mask on. At the end of each class period, you'll notice that your teachers will take a few moments to clean and sanitize the top of each desk. We're doing that to make sure that the surface is clean and ready to go for the next student that arrives to class. Every classroom will have their own special procedures, so it's important for you to follow the directions that your teacher provides. In Phys Ed, we won't be using the locker rooms for now. So it's important on the days that you have physical education that you come to school dressed appropriately to engage in physical activity. In the library, you'll notice that there are no longer any shared computers. So it's going to be really important that you come to school every day with your Chromebook charged and ready to go. Now, of course, the library still will allow you to be checking out books. So absolutely stop by the library to check out one of your favorite books. 
When walking in the hallways, it'll be important for you to maintain space and distance between you and any other students in the hallways. You're going to go directly to class and keep in mind that we won't have bells ringing this year. Most of our hallways will not be one way, but you'll need to stand and walk on the right side of the hallway. One exception to this will be the second floor world language hallway that will be one way. So this year, when you need to use the water fountain, we're actually going to use the bottle filling stations only. You'll notice that the water fountains are capped off so you won't be drinking directly from the fountain. This is why you're going to need to bring a water bottle with you to school and we've given everyone a Springton Lake water bottle at the beginning of the school year. Now, maybe you want to decorate your water bottle and personalize it so that you can tell your bottle from everyone else's. Now, whenever you are going to use the bottle filling station, the first thing you're going to want to do is we're always going to want to sanitize our hands before we touch the water fountain. Once we do that, then we're ready to go and we can fill up our bottle. When you're going into a bathroom, please take a moment to use the hand sanitizer before you go in and before you touch the handle. This will help to keep our hands clean. For lunch, students will be eating in multiple locations. Some students will be eating in the cafeteria and others will be eating in the auxiliary gym. When the weather's nice, we'll also be eating outside. Now when you arrive to the cafeteria, the first thing you want to do is to be sure to use the hand sanitizer to clean your hands. In the cafeteria, we've provided lots of space for you at your table, so only one or two students will be seated at the table. Please follow the lines that are marked on the table so that you know where to sit. There's also plenty of space for you to have your book bag with you at the table or on one of the benches next to where you're sitting. If you'd like to bring a towel or a blanket to use when eating outside, you can also do that. Microwaves will be available in the cafeteria, but we ask you to use this hand sanitizer before you use the microwaves. You'll also notice that when you're waiting in the lunch line, we've marked off spots on the floor so that you can keep a safe distance between you and any of the other students that are also in line waiting to purchase lunch. When the weather is good, we're going to do everything we can to get you outside for recess for a short period of time. Please be sure to leave your book bag and your lunch boxes on the benches. Don't leave them on the tops of the table so that we can clean them between lunch periods. You'll also need to make sure that you sanitize your hands on the way out to recess. Now, when you're at recess, it will be important for you to keep in mind that your mask does need to stay on. You'll also need to be sure that we do still maintain social distancing outside, even when we're hanging out with our friends in groups. You can have fun even when you're socially distant. We're so excited to have you back to school in the very near future. We hope that you have found this video helpful and that you now have a better idea what to expect. We will need everyone to be flexible. It's possible that some things will need to change once we see how things are working and things, how things are shaping up once we have all of our students back. We know that if you follow the things that we outlined in this video, not only will you be safe, but you're gonna be successful. So let's take care of one another, Spartans. Let's have a successful return to in-person learning.